Hey you guys, today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020, and we are wearing our pajamas for our virtual uh, spirit week this week. Um, I'm here to read you your morning book. It is a book called Waffles the Cat, and it's by Nick Mask. And the cool thing about this book is this is an author and illustrator. He did the, um, he wrote the words and drew the pictures out of Missoula. And tomorrow I'm going to read you another version of a Waffles book um, by the same guy. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. This is Waffles the Cat. <laughs> Waffles the Cat was a very lazy kitty. Look at him resting there. Her favorite things to do were sleeping and napping. She was also very fond of eating and snacking. Can you sound out what she's eating? Let's put it this way. Sha ips chips. All day long she was either eating or sleeping, snacking or napping, sleeping or snacking, eating or napping. But there was one thing she loved to do even more. Fishing. Her favorite spot was on a stream under a great big shade tree. It was always full of big hungry fish. Look at those beautiful fish. One morning she grabbed her gear and followed the trail to her favorite fishing hole. When she got there, she saw that someone was in her spot and Waffles did not like that at all. Who's in her spot? A bear, I don't know if I'd mess with that bear. It was Wally the bear and he was making such a racket. If somebody's making a racket, what are they doing? making lots of noise. And do, can you make a lot of noise when you're fishing? Kind of, but if you're in the stream, you don't want to be too loud, huh? But the closer she got, she noticed that Wally was crying. Why are you crying, yes, Waffles? I can't catch any fish, cried Wally. Oh, look at those big tears. He is so sad. Waffles didn't want Wally to cry, so she decided to help him. She gave him her fishing rod and a grasshopper for bait. Aw, that was pretty nice. Then they sat on the bank and watched for the fish to feed. Look, a fish, said Wally. And Wally cast out the grasshopper. And as soon as it hit the water, a big old fish gobbled it up. Waffles and Wally shared the fishing rod and grasshoppers and caught enough fish for lunch. And then they roasted their fish over a fire and gobbled them up. With full bellies and happy hearts, they took naps under the shade tree in the cool grass by their favorite fishing hole. The end. I hope you enjoyed today's book. I sure do miss you guys, and hopefully we will be together again soon. Have a great day. Bye.